You're watching 13 on your side. And welcome back live to Art Prize, where we are continuing our focus on the Red Glasses Sculpture, which is just outside the Grand Rapids Public Museum. The artist was inspired by the Red Glasses Movement, the whole, the whole nationwide, now worldwide movement, in honor of Audrey Gendenauer. She was five years old, and she was from Grand Rapids, and she was just an amazing little girl. Joining me now is her mother, Kelly Gendernoa. And Kelly, tell us a little bit more about the Red Glasses Movement. We have ours on. I'm part of the movement. Yes, you are. <laughs> Um, thank you for having oh, me sure. and uh, the Red Glasses Movement was started in honor of Audrey um, when she passed away we just wanted to keep her vibrant way of life going and so we um, decided to start the Red Glasses Movement and um, in honor of her but most importantly to share the message that she left us with to live boldly love big and pass it on and she sure did so what is it like to see this sculpture in her honor outside of the public museum oh my gosh every time i look at it it just gives me chills it's just it makes me think of her it's just so bright and bold and you just can't walk past it without looking at it and feeling joy you, you can't and, and and that was part of the artist you know he was so inspired and he they love children he and his wife he said yeah. so to see this and to know that this is one of the pieces of art that children can touch Absolutely. We <laughs> encourage them to get in there, sit on top, climb all over it, and it's been really fun to see even adults, you know, kind of let their guards down and boundaries and to just have fun and act like a kid for a little bit. And you know, those of us who had the, the joy of, of getting to see Audrey and, and know her a little bit, just knows, we know what a wonderful person she was. And she did live boldly. She had no inhibitions and the big smile and the red glasses. So this is also a really good message for families to know that just because a child may be born with Down syndrome or a heart defect, that doesn't define who they are. That's exactly right. Yeah, she continued to show us that no obstacle was, was too big. She could just smash it like a bulldozer and go right through it. And she just blew us away every day with her patience and her positive attitude, and we're just so grateful. And so will you tell people more about how they can get involved with the Red Glasses Movement? You bet. Um, the first thing is to just live boldly, love big, and pass it on. Take that message and take it through the day with you and just reach out to others and be kind. But also we're always looking for people to keep sharing this message with others and we call them RG ambassadors that bring this message to their schools, churches, workplaces, and really spread it and um, share glasses. And so there's an event coming up that people can come to Art Prize and be a part of the, of the movement. That's right. Um, this Sunday is Meet Me at the Red Glasses Day from noon to four on September 26th. And we're just encouraging people to reach out to maybe a friend that they've been missing or someone they haven't been able to see in all this time of division. We're hoping this is just a day that we can all come together because we've kind of been missing out on that. We really have been. And there's more information on the Red, Red Glasses Movement webpage too as well. People Absolutely. can read about it. Yeah. Kelly Jandernoa, thank you so much for being here. It's thank just you. an honor to have you. Thank you, Juliet.